welcome back everybody and welcome all you newcomers to the consortium today we are uh, coming at you with a video uh, from Fortnite again uh, another on the beginner series uh, tips and tricks and we're gonna talk about the skills in the game um, it's actually this game has quite a few daunting things to learn as you uh, as a newcomer to the game and you know it may feel overwhelming but one of the thing one of the first videos I wanted to make had to do with the skill tree because while it seems daunting um, I really believe it's not actually, it's really not actually that difficult uh, once you just take a look at it. So I thought this video might help put some people's minds at ease. But uh, but yeah, let's just get into it. So this obviously, sorry, this is the screen, um, our skill screen, our skill tree and our research tiers. Uh, they're both uh, under the skills tab in the game. And um, they're kind of similar, you know, we'll address some of the differences, but they are pretty similar. Uh, we'll go into the skill tree first. Um, so this is your skill tree. This is the level one skill tree. That's as far as you can zoom out. So this is the first set of skill tree that you're going to deal with in the game. Uh, the beginning part is obviously pretty simple. It's pretty straight. You're just going to go along the line for the very beginning. So there's not much to talk about there. And then it splits off into four different paths. Um, it follows the paths of the heroes in the game. You've got your soldier, you've got your constructor, you've got your, um, your outlander, and you've got your ninja. Uh, so you follow those four paths and each path kind of has uh, varying um, skills that you'll pick up that relate to to that path specifically and you will also just pick up like here and there like this one right here is just gonna be like building health um, oops apologize for that guys that's gonna be building health over here you're gonna have offense you're gonna have tech you know you're gonna have a lot of those little things in there and then um, periodically you're gonna go down the middle and you're gonna pick up stuff like your pickaxe is gonna get stronger allowing you to you know do more damage and farm more easily uh, you'll also this is some of these spots are where you're gonna unlock um, your evolutions so this is a survivor evolution uh, all these numbers are the evolutions of the heroes themselves the constructor the soldier uh, and the other two down here and then you also unlock the slots for um, your defender slots and you're gonna unlock some of your squad slots uh, like this one is for the EMT squad which that's going to come into play a little later in the video, but it is actually very important. It's not something that I paid attention to very well when I first started the game, and I wish I had known more about it. It would have helped me increase my home base power level uh, much quicker. So, and another thing that I did not really realize, I was kind of just like, you know, going along the tree, filling them all out at once and not really paying attention, but then I realized because I like the, I'm the constructor class is the main hero I play because I was fortunate enough to pull a legendary early in the game, um, hero. But I know I like and I like the constructing aspect of the game, but I wasn't really focusing on that tree. And once I realized I could do that, I focused on that tree. I got to the level two, helps me increase my hero power. And so, it, my advice would be if you have a hero that you really want to specifically play, that you focus that tree first as much as possible. You know, get all of the the related skills to that hero, and then the you know related like you get the hardware. Um, on the constructor you get additional um, damage and heavy attacks unlocked for clubs and blunt objects uh, which is nice you know and then you'll pick up different things for each of the different classes obviously but I would advise to focus on the class you know the, the sorry the class focus on the part of the skill tree the branch that is going to help you most and then I also advise where you can try to get the actually I don't know if there's even one in the tier tree in the first tier tree okay so we'll go on I'll show you the second tier tree I would also advise when you can to get the extra backpack sizes as quickly as possible um, it has helped me a lot because it allows you to farm and obtain more materials without having to either put them into something or drop them because you don't have enough space when you get more important materials so I'd really advise that and then obviously this is skill tree too um, and it gets it gets bigger but it really isn't that much different you know, you just have to kind of look at the things that you prefer. Again, I want to focus on my tree the most, but this actually holds me off. I can't unlock more on it until I unlock 40 nodes throughout the whole tree. And that's another thing you realize that when you're doing the skill tree in this game, you're going to probably unlock the majority of the trees before you move on to the next tree. So you don't really need to worry about too much about missing something. Yeah, you'll have a little bit that you'll miss, but it's nothing major. Um... So, so don't like fret over it, get through your tree and if there's something else you really need or that's important, go for that. 
And then, again, I was going to address, like I said earlier, try to find also the squad slots when you can. This is a defender slot. I don't really use defenders, so it's not a big deal to me. But the squad slots, because as you open up more squad slots, you can add more heroes to the squads or more survivors. And then your home base power goes up and you become generally, you know, you're just stronger in general. You can progress through the game uh, better. And is, I'm going to do another video on this, but I actually think that's where a lot of people are hitting the, uh, what they're calling the kind of like the uh they're hitting a point where they feel like they can't progress very well without buying um more packs which there is a point where you kind of hit that but i think part of the problem is people aren't focusing on trying to unlock all their squad slots which will help you increase your home base power quite a bit um so and we'll just go through i'll just show the other two trees there's not much to talk about them uh they all have pretty much the same things but just more of them and upgraded versions on each tree um you know, they, they look a little bit crazier, but they're kind of pretty similar. And then we go down, and then we have our research tree. Um, oh, I forgot to address. So on this tree, the way you unlock them is you get uh, skill points every time you level up. And you're, um, in the first area, you get one skill point. When you move into the second area in Planker 10, you get two skill points every time you level up. But it also costs two skill points to level up anything in the second tier. And in the third tier, it costs three. So it's really... Each level allows you to level up one node, is basically how it works in-game. Um, and then the research tier, the research tier, you just get points per hour in the game, whether you're on or offline, so you kind of accumulate points either way. Um, this does get upgraded, you start out at like 50-something, 50, 50 and then you move up to 108, and I believe you upgrade it more throughout uh, different parts of the skill trees, you'll just eventually get to them. Uh, but the research tree just focuses more on kind of your attributes. So you got your offense, your tech, your resistance, and your fortitude. Um, there are a few things you'll unlock, like some of these squad slots you can be unlocked here too, which is nice because you can focus on that to, to up your home base power. And then other than that, you just have to decide, are you, if you want to go offense, you pick the offense tree. If you want to spread it out, you can spread it out a little bit like I did. If you want to just, you know, beef up, you can go with the fortitude. Um, and then you'll also unlock slots that allow you to uh, do better missions, which the missions to me right now, like the, the squad missions, really aren't, I don't think they give that great of a reward, so I don't really worry about them very much. Um, and then tier 2, again, it's the same thing. It's just kind of more of what's already there. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the basics on the skill trees, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, it is pretty simple. It looks, like I said, it looks daunting in the beginning. And if I were, you know, if it's me, just if you're trying to get used to it, pick a tree, pick the hero that you kind of want to focus on. If you have one hero specifically, go down that tree first and then kind of fill out the rest. You're going to end up getting the majority of them as you level anyway, so there's not any rush and you're not going to feel like you miss anything. And then with the research points, you just kind of pick what you need at the time. If you want some more offense, defense, you know, and the whatnot. So, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully... It helped you out a little bit and if you guys uh have any other videos or any other questions you want answered please let me know uh i would love to make some more videos on things that you guys specifically want otherwise i just have a few ideas that i'm going to keep making videos on and uh, i appreciate everybody stopping by and i hope you guys have a good one see ya